You saw all this going down on Twitter. Why did you decide to get involved? Did you know this guy? So basically the backstory is uh, me and my friends were out for one of my friend's book launches, and I was trying to make it into Soho, and for some reason, like, couldn't get a cab, couldn't, like, we missed the train, so I, I just pretty much went home, and I opened up my laptop, and opened up Twitter like I always do. One of my friends, Michael Straco of Known.com, he messaged me, and I'm really good friends with Michael, and I trust him, like, implicitly, and he's like, are you near this? My friend had his laptop stolen, and pretty much I, I start looking at the, the the different Twitter stream, I look at everything that's going down, I'm like, this really isn't my problem. Like, it's the first thing that goes through my mind, and I started watching, like, all of it unfolding. And I started thinking about it, like, 15 minutes went by, and I'm like, hey, I'm only, like, 15 minutes away. If you need me to come, like, I, I added at Sean Power, and I was like, yo, if you need me to come, let me know. So I'd be happy to stop by and help if I can. And I'm like, I really hope he doesn't write me back. And he did, and he's like, yeah, come out. And at that time, there was a girl there in a purple sarong, and uh, there was, she was there alone, and there was another guy that was supposed to be meeting. And I was like, all right, so I'm not going to be the only guy there. It's going to be like this little posse. We're just going to roll in and get the laptop back. Or I didn't really know. No big deal. No yeah, big deal, you know. Because it was just <laughs> like, you know, like at the end of the day, I would hope someone else would do it for me. So I, I, I said, I made one small promise to myself. I'm like, if I can get a cab easily and just walk out of my apartment, get a cab, I'll go. I walk out my door of my apartment, and there's a cab. I'm and going. there usually weren't cabs at that time. Yeah, there, there was no cabs, like, 10 <laughs> minutes earlier, 20 minutes earlier. And so it was, it was like I was supposed to go. Like, the rest of the night hadn't lined up for a reason. And so I hopped in the cab, and I just pretty much rolled down there. And while I'm in the cab, the other guy that was, was supposed to be going there ended up not showing up. He, he's like, I'm not going. So at this point, it was just going to be me. And the whole time in the cab, I'm like, am I really going to do this? Am I really just going to, like, <laughs> I don't know this guy on Twitter. Like, a friend of a, fr it's a friend of a friend, basically. Would you help out a friend of fr a friend? It's like, of course I would. It's just like, I don't know what I'm getting myself into. Is this here. even more weird, though, that this was all going down on Twitter? Yeah. It was, it was pretty crazy to reflect and, like, really look back and know that, like, none of this would have happened without technology. Because at the end of the day, if, if one of my friends had a friend that was in need and I, I could help, I would probably do the same thing, but regardless. I, I didn't know all the details of the story, so this was even more interesting as it developed, so I, uh, I roll into the bar and look for a girl in a purple sarong, because that's what I'm supposed to be looking for, and I had, tech I had tweeted Sean my number, so we were texting back and forth at this point. How did you get in contact with her? I, sh she was in a purple sarong. So, so, so that's all you knew, and you were pretty much communicating through Twitter to find out more information about her. Exactly. Wow. Exactly, and so in the cab, I, I tweeted at Sean my phone number, and I'm like, uh, you know, text me so we can take this off of Twitter. And so he started texting me, and I'm like, I'm here. And he's like, look for a girl in a purple sarong. So I, I walk in, and I try to find the first, I, I find the first pur girl wearing purple, and she's wearing purple jeans. And I walk up to her, and I'm like, are you the girl in the purple sarong? And she's like, g gives me the funniest look, like she has no clue what's going on. So I, I continued my search, and she happened to be just over my shoulder, uh, talking to an individual uh, named Max, who uh, was, was involved in the laptop story, so... Wow. So you wound up recovering the laptop, and what kind of response have you had since? It has been overwhelming. Like, in, in reality, I'm, I'm just an average bear that took action to help someone else. Because at the end of the day, I would hope other people would do that for me. Because that's what matters to me, is like, I want to make the world a better place. And it was my fourth day in New York, and I'm like, New York can't be that bad. Hopefully I can leave some sort of small impact on it. So we ended up, after some pretty intense moments, as you can see on the Twitter stream, uh, we got the laptop back. So and how did you celebrate? We went out and got creme, brul creme brulee and strawberry alcoholic drinks. Nice. <laughs>